that land on me because just I've watched this fight so the fights he hasn't done anything in any fight so far that will work against him. <laughs> maybe he's working on something with his coach um, and uncle in the, in the backgrounds that we haven't seen yet in in the ring because if he does what he's done already there's no there's no way this fight goes four or five rounds well nobody thought I could do southpaw I never showed that before did I but I did all the way through a fight never been done I never done it before so you know, I explain what's yourself. the difference I in this fight? Explain yourself. You said you have had his number. What? What is it? Explain it to us. What I've do you see? I've got what it takes to beat him. Th to beat David A, you've got to be game, you've got to be strong, and you've got to be willing. Listen, it doesn't come down to boxing and technique and all that. I'm, I'm knocking him out for sure. I'm going to get on top of him. I don't even care about giving a game plan away. I want to fight with this guy, yeah? I'm going to take him somewhere he's never been, been before, somewhere where he doesn't like going because he's a pretty boy, and I'm going to chop him up. I'm going to rip his body to bits and I'm going to rip his, rip his face with uh, in, inside shots. I'm going to lean all over him, 270 pounds, pushing me around. Listen, he can run, but he can't hide. He might be a sniper fighter, like you said, but snipers fight from a mile away. We've got a 20-foot boxing ring, and that, to me, is in front of me. And if you're in front of me, you're in big trouble. Cold, hard, lonely place in that boxing ring with me, for sure. You smile and say little again. I'm just... Uh... I don't know. I hear him saying he's going to do this and rough me up. The only thing I can take from that is he's going to do the complete opposite and try and outbox me. That's the only thing that that sounds like when someone's got the greatest chin in the world. So maybe he's going to try and box me like he did Martin Rogan and try and keep doing it south or do something. But even no matter what he does, if he tries to box me long, I'm, a, I'm faster, I'm quicker, I can get in and out of range too fast. If he tries to maul with me, you know, Chisora tried that, he ended up getting sparked. I ain't no Chisora though. I can fight on the inside. Derek Chisora can't. You've never fought anybody like me. You've never fought a big inside fighter. And I'm one big inside fighter. Six foot nine, 205 centimetres of inside fighting this. And I know what it takes to fight inside. I can throw the uppercuts, the body shots, the up, everything. Vladimir Klitschko ain't got a patch on me and he beat you. Listen, I can knock Vladimir Klitschko into next week. An easier fight for me than this guy. I can beat you Be saying bolt because, 100 metres. But you can't, that's the only How, reason. Why not? How, why can't I? Because I can't. believe I can do it. I believe I can do well, it. Well, because it's disbelief. Aha, finally we hit the nail you on the head. You can't do disbelief. it, but I can. So you can beat Usain Bolt as well, yeah? No, I can beat you, though. I don't need to beat Usain Bolt, do I? But you believe you can do it deep down in your heart? You I believe can you can beat do you. it? Yeah? I don't need to be able to beat Usain Bolt, but I can beat you in a fight, yeah? for sure. Okay. And, and Vladimir Klitschko and everybody, beat. yeah? I've never met a man I couldn't David beat. David Price beat you in the amateurs. Oh, what's an amateur? What's an it's amateur? a fight, it's a boxing match. Did you with not gloves swallow on? against Solace in the no, World Championship? So in, 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 in the World Championship finals. David, David. You lost against David Price in the amateurs. Listen, David. David Price is no good. No, couldn't he even beat you in the amateurs. Why didn't you David, beat him? Why didn't you knock him out? David. Why didn't you knock uh, Solace no, out? No, I'm asking Why you the question. Swallow? Easy there. boys, David. You do you recognise you? You swallowed against Thompson and you swallowed against Vlad. And you will swallow or you swallow your teeth against me anyway. <laughs> do you, do you recognise your, do you reckon, David, do you, 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 you recognise yourself in this guy here? Not do one you, bit, not even the listen, remote, are you not, not, tiny, not, do you find, not do you even, do you find him amusing? He's, he's funny, you can't do anything but laugh. <laughs> how could it's he, just, how could he find a resemblance No, 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 no what, what I'm saying is, you were the young guy coming up, you know, against the I was realistic, I was realistic, I know, I know about Let's talk about realistically, can believe him. Let's just go back, we don't have to go back 25 years, let's just go back a couple of years when my guy said he was going to knock out Vladimir Klitschko. Did the public forget about this fight? I'm going to knock him out, I'm going to rip his head off, it's on my t-shirt. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And go in the ring and uh, do nothing, come on. Let's not forget, this is the same David A that was going to do so much to the Klitschkos, got his chance, had everybody in Britain, including myself, tuning him to watch him, and then he goes in and plays around after he can't get a few shots off in the first three or four rounds and decides, I'm going to lose on points because Vladimir don't usually lose, beat people on points, so I can be one of those losers on points. David, what's your reaction to, to the Klitschko performance <laughs> He had his now? opportunity to, to fight Vladimir, and what did he do? He gave, him that, gave up that opportunity to come and fight me. But what about you and Vladimir Klitschko? Yeah. How do you look back at it now? It was a bad performance. Yeah. It wasn't good. You know, yeah. I underperformed. I believe I could have done better, and I didn't. It was yeah. one of them things. It didn't work out on the night, you know, just like it's not going to work out for him on his night on the So is your eight. ambition to get rid of Tyson Fury and then go back... It's and always, it's always, it's always been my ambition to get the fight back with Vladimir and win that fight. Um, his brother Vitaly made a lot of noise about wanting to fight me, but he's gone quiet since then. 
this guy's made a lot of noise and a lot of people want to see him get knocked out, so I'm going to do that. Tyson, you can keep bringing this up. Every fight is it allowed to just have a bad fight. It was one of those things. So are you, are you sure you're not yeah, you're measuring your fight so on that fight? He can beat me. He's the same guy so confident he can beat me, but he was the same confident in this against beating Vladimir, was he not? Or am I just mistaken in this? He says he's going to knock me out. He also said he was going to knock the clitch goals out. And I didn't believe him. I've also and said I, I was going to knock out 24 of the 26 people I've fought. And they got knocked out. Good. So well, when it counts, you can't you can do it, can you? When the out. chips are down, All the fights you counts. Do it. Every fight counts. When, when fight counts she, look, there's your big counts. opportunity, and you didn't do nothing, mate. Didn't do nothing. Tyson, you okay. But Martin Vladimir Martin Klitschko has, has proved himself, Tyson, as the world's best for many years. Right, but he has never fought somebody like me. And when I fight him, it's going to be an easier fight than this guy sat next to me. Because he doesn't move like Haymaker. He's not as slippery as Haymaker, and he's very hittable for someone his own size. OK, are you disciplined enough like this man is, while well, we're looking at here, I to don't do have the same to thing? If, if, the, if your game plan's not working when you're fighting David I don't Day. have to be. Vladimir fights like a wimp, like a little girl, on the outside. He didn't want to trade it with David A, where I do. I want to trade. I want to take fire with fire. If he can hit me, I want to hit him back. And we're going to see. I said I was going to knock uh, Cunningham out, and I didn't box him, and had a fight with him, and I'm saying the same again. I'm having a fight with David, I'm taking him into deep water, he's going to unload on me, I'm going to take it all on the gloves and arms and maybe get hit in the face as well, and if I go down, I go down, I'm getting back up. Listen, and I'm going to grind him down until he jacks like he did against Thompson. If you'll do it once, you'll always do it again. I may have lost an amateur fight, but not once in my whole life have I ever jacked a fight. That's the difference. You, you're out <laughs> What's the difference between me and you? David, you were out by Sir Gordy baby. Harrison a while back, who obviously, you know, sold his, his plan. He said he was going to put you to sleep with a left hat. We know what happened there. That yep. was three rounds. It was an easy night for you. Yep. Do you see it as an easy night against Tyson Fury, or do you see well, it as a really it, tough challenge? If he's, gonna, if he's doing what he's saying he's going to do and just walk across there and try and, I don't know, just impose his size on me, then... Yeah, it'd probably be quicker than quicker than Harrison. Harrison didn't get chinned because you know he kept it long. You know, but if you want to close the range down the same way Chisora did, you get you get knocked out. If he, Tyson and if Tyson's there after four, five, six rounds, and then he's after he's, he'd have to have a, a, a chin transplant from someone because the same chin has seen him getting knocked down his last couple of fights. He's not going to be enough to stand up to what my fight. Well, ask yourself the question: If, all right, it's a, maybe it's a big if in David's mind, not in my mind, but. What happens after the six and I'm still standing and I only get better after six rounds? I don't get weaker, I get better as the fight goes on. David A's chance in beating me is getting me out of there early. And to get me out of there early, he's got to put his own self in risk. I'll stay with that question. I've, he's heard me, so he can answer it. Well, what happens there. if? If it's a big if in your mind, not in my mind, but in your mind... If it goes past six do? rounds, it means you've taken one of the biggest beatings anyone's ever had to take. It'd be more like sort of Larry, Larry Holmes, Jerry Cooney type beatdown. Exactly well, that what wasn't be. exactly the biggest beating because my guy, yeah, Jerry was Cooney, was winning against Holmes until he got stopped, my friend. So I wouldn't call that okay, a beatdown. OK, you could be winning the first round and then get knocked well, out in the first round. Beat who cares? Down. That was a beatdown. As far as I'm concerned... You think about what you say. That was a beatdown. Watch the fight again. Look, what, look at the result. Look at the face. Look at his, look at if his it was a 12-round fight, Is, it about, level, is this won. about levels, David? Mm. Is it is about levels. The fact that he thinks Jerry Cooney was winning that fight. Yeah, I think he was. Well, there you go. But look at the result. You win a fight by winning a fight. Yeah, but that wasn't the, the question, was it? I don't want to get irate or talk over somebody, but that wasn't Can the question. Can you jump up in levels? Because that's what's going to be needed to beat David Hart. I don't need to jump up in levels. I'm at that level. Why am I ranked in the top ten in the world by all the organisations if I'm not but at this that level? a two-weight world champion. So who's was Steve Cunningham a world champion. What does ha in past records mean nothing? It's all about on the night. Gavin Rees fought Anthony Crawley the other night and he got beat. In his previous fight, he fought Adrian Broner. So, he still got beat by Crawler, didn't he? So these styles that you two will bring into the ring, September the 28th, you think this is going to bring the electricity back into heavyweight boxing? That's if what David we need, A does a it, guys? stinker, like he did against Klitschko, then it's going to be a poor, poor night for British boxing. And it will not live up to a Frank Bruno Lennox Lewis, because they got stuck into it. But if David A comes to try and knock me out, then it's going to be a fight. Because as he said to Vladimir, are you going to come and fight? I'm asking you the question now, my friend. Are you going to come and fight? Or are you going to stink the place yeah, out? You have to find out on the night. There you go. I sense a stinker. On Vlad the day it's announced, yeah. predictions? Listen, I can't make any predictions of any rounds, but I'll, one thing I can predict. This is going to be the most exciting British heavyweight fight in a long, long time. Win, lose or draw, 
and give everything, and it's going to be very exciting for the paying customer, David? for sure. Prediction. I'll knock him out when I want to knock him out. Whatever round I choose, same way I've done with Jazora, uh, the same way I did with uh, he was lucky uh, against Harrison. Gisora. Yeah, I was really lucky with that fight, wasn't I? Yeah. My guy almost had you, mate. I know almost is a big <laughs> word, but you was finished. He I was finished. You was yeah. finished. You was gassed. It was Chisora lost that fight. You yeah. didn't win it. He lost exactly. it. Exactly. This, this is the type of confidence he gets. He looked at that fight and thought, I was losing the fight. For he I was losing the fight. In my opinion, okay. Chisora was going to get Is there a handshake before you go into training camp? Uh, he, can go, he doesn't need a handshake. He can, he can, I wouldn't shake okay. his hand, actually, because I don't know where it's been, for one. And for two, like he said, he wouldn't shake Vladimir Klitschko's hand, so what gives him the right to shake my hand? There's no handshakes. There's no nothing. I've told you I'm going to knock him out, and that's what I'm going to do. I'll tell, I tell you what, there is <laughs> plenty of action with us on Saturday night. We've got a big show to look forward to in Hull with Luke Campbell. It's the homecoming, a feast of uh, action alongside Campbell. Anthony Agogo's on display, plus excellent fights featuring Lee Selby, Tommy Cole, Derry Matthews. And Kelbrook and Carson Jones in a rematch. We'll be catching up with a heavyweight legend on ringside next week. And don't forget these two heavyweights. They want to be remembered as legends or may think they are already. Hey Fury, live on Sky Sports Box Office, September the 28th. Part of the feast of action ahead for you on Sky. We've enjoyed it, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> well done, guys. Good luck in training camp. It's going to be good. And we're off to Hull, where the sun should be shining, we hope, for the Olympic gold medalist Luke Campbell.